Today, we're going to be getting a very unique perspective from a man who was raised to yes, be racist. Yes, yeah, man, I just turned 34. I ended up going to college, and I'm not going to air nobody out now, but like, I met a lot of racist people or people who thought they was racist or people who was raised to be racist. This, what do this symbol mean? What does that stand for? And then I can get like, you know what I'm saying? There's a dude from Tennessee. I wish I'd have learned his real name, but we, he is from Tennessee. We called him Tennessee. So, but he literally had a Confederate flag in his window, like banging on the door, but he was just proud. He gave you, you know, that same spiel. I'm proud of my heritage, da, da, da. And, you know, and I'll sit there and I'll tell him like, yo, you know, but your heritage really love doing people that look like me crazy. Like, and he like, but he still tried to like, he, he, he said, he felt that he heard that, but like your ties or connection to what you believe is like family and heritage can be re a real, real big impact. It can be a really, really big impact on how you view things or how you gonna have to challenge things moving forward because he was he was raised in Confederacy. I was very publicly okay to say, "Oh, that's trash. You shouldn't do that." But there, no, this is a way of life for some people. A lot of important and powerful people, if you look back in terms of where these roots stem in the judicial system across America. Racist and homophobic values were forced on him as a child, and uh, how it ultimately impacts him today.